when this problem we need to prove that the vector product of four vectors b cross c crossed with c cross a equals to the vector c multiplied to the scalar triple product of a b and c we'll begin with the left hand side but before that let's quickly review the vector product of four vectors between a b c and a d so we have the cross product between a and b and this is crossed with c and d now this vector can be also simplified to get so we'll read from left to right then come to the third vector so the third vector is vector c so this will be multiplied to the scalar triple product between the remaining vector so we started out with vector c the next vector when we go from left to right is vector d then again we come back to the beginning and now we will have vector a followed by vector b next minus we'll consider the fourth vector which is vector d and this will be multiplied to the scalar triple product between the remaining three vectors so we have vector d so we'll come back to the beginning so first we'll have vector a followed by vector b and then vector c so this is how we can express the vector product of four vectors in this particular fashion so we'll use this to expand our vector b cross c crossed with c cross a so let us begin now we'll have to consider the third vector when we read from left to right so our third vector is vector c and this will be multiplied to the remaining vectors the scalar product between the remaining vectors so after c we have vector a then we'll come back to our beginning then we have vector b followed by vector c minus we'll use the fourth vector which is vector a and this is multiplied to the scalar triple product of the remaining vectors coming back to the beginning we have vector b followed by the second vector vector c and the third vector vector c now by definition the scalar triple product between vector b c c this is will be zero that's because when we have two vectors that are exactly equal the scalar triple product goes to zero so that means we are left with vector c multiplied to a b and c and this is the right hand side so we have proof 